Good morning, second day, productivity tip number five or six, I don't remember. So I am really sorry for this ramble that's come up. It's an 11 minute ramble. I thought the content was pretty valuable, but I have a hard time actually deciding what I keep in and what I keep out. So while I'm editing this, I left it like that. And at the 11, 30 minute mark, more or less, um, the vlogging part starts. This is just content and information. So if you like this, continue. If you don't like it, skip it towards the vlog because from now on I'm trying to do uh, less long talks because I end up rambling a lot and more activity. Let me know down in the comments down below if you like these type of things and if I should include them or not or if you prefer me to leave them short and let them be a little bit more dynamic. So give me some feedback. Thank you very much. Enjoy watching and if you don't like to watch this ramble, please skip to 11.30. Uh, I screwed up yesterday. Yesterday was a really, really bad day. I did super, super good, mega productive. I'm, I'm like, today I already did yesterday almost. So that is super good. But then afterwards, once I was done with work, I kind of screwed up. I kind of let go and I started watching a course and the course got into the next course and learning a lot but it's not the idea that i wanted to do i lacked the discipline i went with this information drip i would almost call it you know the feeling when you go on facebook and before you know it you've spent it half an hour of your time doing things that you don't even know how they add value to your day i mean it's like an addiction and that's really funny because actually i've been studying this and seeing and learning to understand why Facebook is so popular and why it comes back. Their algorithm is not trying to bring the best posts to you every single time because otherwise it wouldn't be the best, it would become normal. So what they're doing, and that's pretty interesting, what they're doing is they actually put one really, really good post curated for you and then three, four, five bad ones and then the fifth one mostly is good again which means that you get a lot of dopamine because you get a really good post, then that goes down and then you scroll again and then you're searching for the next dopamine hit and then a few posts later, bam, you get it again. And this turns to be very addictive. So to prevent that, I just deleted the Facebook app from my phone and only go on Facebook when I'm consciously wanting to go there. Uh, I also, on my computer, I have a news feed, er Eradicator, I think it's called. It allows me not to have any Facebook on my, like I don't have a news feed on my Facebook. So I either get tagged by somebody, I click my notification button, go there, or I dive into one of the groups and actually engage with those groups. So this helps me a lot already. And I noticed a big difference, but still on my phone, I'm not focused enough yet. Then productivity tip number six is the amount of choices that you make. Because in your day, Let's say you only have 100 choices and it's proven that we only have a limited amount of choices we can actually make. So if we know that, then it means that we have to be very careful with the things we're choosing. Are we going to obsess whether I should write with the red pen or whether I should write with the black pen or am I just going to write with a pen when I have to take a note? I mean. It's the little things, it's, it's we have to pay attention to the, to the choices we are making. This is also why for me yesterday, I lacked the discipline to do more because I worked so hard, I worked so much, I did so much in the morning, I did so much in the afternoon, and uh, yeah, I did a lot of work. And by the time it got to the end, I didn't wanna make a choice, do I stop or do I watch one more? Like I just gave up on making the choices. I gave up on my discipline because I, I was out of my number of choices a day. And I know this is not, I cannot prove this, but from the books I've been reading about productivity, they say they're scientific proof. I never dived into those studies. So I just have to credit these books and believe whatever it is that they're saying. But today we're gonna restart again. Today we're gonna try to dive back into the, uh, yeah, dive back into the productivity journey. So I made a little schedule. I hope you can read this. So drink water, do sports, walk Lily, organize and clean the house, including laundry, dishes, and vacuum cleaning. Things I don't really like to do, but I have to do them. 
write the blog because the blog yesterday I skipped on my daily blog. I want to do a daily blog and yesterday I skipped on it. The reason I skipped on it is I didn't have the energy anymore to do it because I've worked so hard prior to that. So instead, because it's important to me to write this daily blog, because I believe that the more the content compounds, the better results it will get. So a daily blog, it doesn't have to be a long blog, it can just be a little thought, uh, is very important to me. So the blog, I'll put it first, because I know that the other things I'll do, but the blog, it has to be done because like that, it's off my list. Then after, I have to check the Builder All Forum, because if you run a forum, gotta make sure it's uh, engaging when people actually are active. But then again, also, this is not the most important thing, but I just wanna check. I mean, this can take five minutes, see if there's a new post, see if there's new members, uh, send them a private message. Every new member I try to send a private message, at least for the first 100, because it will keep the engagement uh, higher. And then the Vegetarian Association. I have to call today, I have to, figure out the pricing of uh, the equipment that we need. So I have to call to a camera store, say, this is what we wanna do, what's the estimate pricing, uh, and then let them make an offer to me. And then I just take that as a note so I can use that for the meeting that I'm going to. Then tonight at seven, there's David Benjamin. And for those of you who've been following this vlog since the beginning, David Benjamin is a musician, he's been on TV, he's super talented, really good. And I talked with him about doing his management and uh, that was prior to all of this, what I'm doing right now. And it was funny, I looked at it, I'm happy I never did it because we are two worlds apart. This would, it would never have worked. And uh, that's another topic for another day, which also has to do with productivity is how to pick the people you actually work with. Because in the beginning, I was way too eager to work with anybody and consider it an honor when people wanted to work with me. And now I'm starting to get really, really, really picky with who I'm working because I don't have so much time. So it's funny, the busier you get, get the pickier, the busier you get, the pickier you get. And that's logical, but you should be picky from the beginning because once you, you know, like it's another topic. We're gonna talk about it next time. Anyway, so this is the second day of the productivity vlog. I'm not sure if I'm gonna edit everything in one vlog because it might be really long because I end up rambling a lot. But I screwed up yesterday, I knew why, and uh, I'm gonna try to do better today. Okay, well, this is not working. I'm still in my same clothes, I didn't do anything. I mean, I talked with, with Kuhn, I talked with Guido, I came up with a new project, the Vegan Academy, and, and do things with that. And there's a lot of things going in my head, and I'm slowly, slowly starting to take shape what what it is that we need to do in order to get the company running. So the things that I had to do, the vegetarian association, I didn't do them again. And uh, even though yesterday I got way more done than I should have got done and today I didn't need to do it, it would be nice to finish it. So actually I'm free tomorrow and don't have the stress of needing to do something. And it wasn't my schedule and I wanna keep my priorities, but it didn't work again. So that sucks. I really, really have to step up and push myself to get better at this. So in order to follow my own advice uh, the best way possible, I write it down even more in detail. I changed of planner and I've got right here, it's the, uh, the hustle, it's, it's called a hustle planner. It's, uh, it's made out of stone, that's super awesome. And what it does is that the difference between the productivity planner and this planner, uh, let me show you. So. First of all, the cool thing about this planner is that it has a more of a calendar type of feel. So you get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the rest of the days, you know, it goes all the way until Sunday. It gives nice quotes on the end. I really love that. I mean, the productivity planner that I've got over there has it as well. But here you can also focus on the priority. So basically the productivity planner gives you the five priorities and puts it in a time frame. And I find that it's a little bit overwhelming because I have to keep track of so many things and um, I often forget to put it on because I just start working and that's a matter of discipline as well. And I think the productivity planner is better than this planner, but this planner is a better planner when you're starting out. So here you can put your priorities, same as in the other planner. Uh, exercise, which exercise do you want to do? Then uh, what do you want to do with your food? Uh, habits to break for the week, like you focus on the week, the key goal for the week. 
how do you feel and the colors for that. Then at the end, a weekly reflection to go in into the next week. Um, I underutilized this and I never took it as serious as I should have. But right now I'm actually writing it down. Seven o'clock, wake up, water and running, 60 minutes. Then uh, plus 30 push-ups, 10 pull-ups, because I want to get back in shape. Nine o'clock, walk Lily. 10 o'clock, uh, so it's a one hour walk. 10 o'clock, eat fruits and read. Then 12 o'clock, eat oats and work on the vegetarian association. Finish that, um, eat fruits and walk Lily. And then I have to schedule the rest of my day. So I'm taking this really serious and I'm really critical with myself. And it's a matter of fact of pushing myself against the thing that I want to do least. It's like, I really want to build this project of the vegetarian association, but there's so much things I want to do more. And this is not like, you know, and this is the thing. It's like, you have to learn how to prioritize. And it's not that I'm looking for, um, it's not that I'm looking for structure because I know I can just do that but I know that that's not my end station and I don't know exactly yet where that end station is going to be. Uh, and I don't want to start something and go all in on it um, and not having it right. And the vegetarian association, I'm all in with that. I'm 100% for that. But my business around that, I'm not 100% sure yet what it is and how it has to become. So because of that, I'm still trying to find the best angles and exploring that until I find my true focus, until I find my voice. And the voice that I've found has been developed in the past months. If you look back at my first video and it's not salad compared to now, uh, looking at the big picture, I'm very happy at the speed I'm going, but I just want to go too fast. And uh, I have to learn how to organize better in order for me to learn how to go faster. So that's this journey. I hope you guys like this vlog. Um, next up is David Benjamin. And we are ready, ready to go. Uh, I hope uh, my combination is good. I'm not quite sure if these sucks with this and Irat is not there to confirm and I don't really care. So as you might see, if you, if you watch a lot of YouTube, uh, this looks a little bit like Casey Neistat and I find him super inspiring. I've been consuming his vlogs for the past month or two. I didn't really know him and the way he makes movies, I love it. So I'm trying to implement a little bit of that in this. Ooh, that was close. Yesterday I bought this longboard and I figured I want to get better habits. I have to get outside more. So I have to start doing something. I like this one. It's pretty cool. But I use the skateboard a lot. I've even got, wait, wait a minute, here. Check this out. If you can see it over there. But that was the first tattoo I got when I was 12. You see, I was a pretty big skateboard fan and one day I decided it was cool to tattoo myself with ink. Super dangerous, don't try that at home. Turns out vlogging is pretty cool because it makes you go outdoors, it makes you push yourself and do things that are interesting because if nobody's watching that means it's probably not that interesting. I really have to go out more because look at all these events here. 
the vibe and the energy is so cool right now in summer. And look at this amazing water tower over there. Pretty cool, right? We're almost there. Heading there now and listen to David. And we are here, the shore. Okay, so we've got a little dilemma. Entrance fee is 12 euro 50. Now, I don't know there's a big volleyball event happening over here and maybe it might be linked to that. But I'm just planning to be here for an hour maybe just to check out some music. And I'm not sure I wanna pay 12 euro 50 for that. So I think that stinks. Um, well, let's see what else we can do. Maybe I'll do another round on the beach, then chill a little bit at home and start reading. Let's see. So the new plan is to go all the way to the end of the boulevard and then back to the other side, show you both sides, then go home and relax a little bit. Wake up at your place. Wake up at mine. So at this side is a big volleyball fence you can hear, but now we are going to the other side. That's really cool. Reminds me of when I was young. Holy shit, I'm halfway. I am dead. Breathing, pushing, pushing. I'm really, really out of shape. Here we are, in the background, the ferris wheel, and uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna go back home. That's it for this vlog. More vlogs are coming. I will redo the architecture of what I'm going to do where because I'm learning so many new things. Um, that's it for this day. Tomorrow, I'll continue with the productivity vlog, vlog, uh, journey, tips, whatever it is becoming and turning into. More of that tomorrow. That is super cool. It is 10 past midnight, so didn't really pass the go to bed early test, but I had to walk a little still, made a really nice walk. And I'm listening to this piano and it's magic. It's like a movie. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this is really the end of today's vlog. Uh, catch you tomorrow.